Hello and welcome to YouTube Garage. Uh, anyone who follows my channel or subscribed and seen my last video, I did the first video of the year, and I am. Uh, and the video was well. The video was basically about what I'm planning for the year or lack of. A lot has to do with my funds or how much I'm willing to spend on a Corvette and out in the garage and all that stuff. So that's a big factor, just like with everyone out there, you know, anyone who has a project or even dreams of a project, the biggest problem is funds at time. Time I have, funds I, I'm not willing to spend. Uh, I have to be a little more frugal now that I'm retired, but it's no big deal. Anyway, uh, getting back to today's video. In the last video, I mentioned that MotesNet went out of business. I will... Uh, their website, you can still go to their website and get any information you need on any products that you bought from them in the past. They went out of business, I think, in November. Uh, and uh, everybody's looking for uh, resources. Uh, I'm searching the Furums, uh, like uh, Corvette Furum and Third Gen. I found uh, other resources for OBD1 hardware. So if you do need it, you're still in luck. You can still get it. Uh, I'm also going to go over some alternatives to OBD1 and, uh, you know, like uh, aftermarket ECUs and all that stuff. I don't have any experience with those aftermarket ECUs, and I only have experience with OBD1 tuning on my 90 Corvette. Uh, so, uh, but I do have a playlist of all my experiences and what I've learned and what I've shared with everybody. One, So, uh, check it out. I'll probably leave a link up here somewhere to it during this video. But for now, I'm going to jump onto the PC and we'll uh, look at some websites with products that are helpful. And I'll go over some alternatives uh, for people who want to do that sort of thing. Uh, might want to convert to a newer ECU. Uh, I'm thinking of it. I'm thinking of going one that I'm going to go over here soon. So like I said, let's jump to the PC and... Uh, Get on the internet and see what's out there. Okay, here we are on the PC screen. And one of the first things I'm going to show you is a website called Boosted NW. And uh, they were making a lot of replacements for the uh, for some of the components that uh, MotesNet used to provide. And so that's a good alternative. He looks like he has the chips, he has the burner. And he has the adapter you need. So it looks like it's all here. Uh, and that's for GM tuning, a tune port. That's mostly what you need. Looks like he has mostly what you need. Looks like he specializes in Honda stuff. But uh, if there's enough uh, business provided for uh, tune port stuff, he'll pro maybe he'll do some of that stuff too. Now... I'm going to show you another site that provides emulators, and it looks like it has a bunch of other stuff. I, I'm not going to go into everything, but uh, they have programmers, and it looks like uh, other site stuff too. But if you need an emulator, like uh, MotesNet used to make an emulator called the Ostrich 2. I have one of those, and that's where you're, instead of burning a chip, you'd plug that in place of the chip, and you'd be able to make changes on the fly, and then once you get your tune where you want it, you would then burn your chip. Uh, so this is, does the same thing. This is, a, unfortunately, a lot more expensive, too. But uh, if it works and you want that sort of thing, that's an alternative. Now, if you need cables, uh, you can still get cables, of course. Uh, there's uh, my, one of my favorites is uh, Win3, well, 1320 Electronics LLC. They have the... Bluetooth uh, adapters. I know at one point uh, some of their products they just didn't have them available because uh, availability of uh, components. So uh, check first. And another one, of course, is uh, let's see, uh, Red Devil River. He has a bunch of ALDL cables and some a bunch of other components. You have to look through the page. And if you have the uh, LT1 OBD1. Well, whether it's OBD1 or, or not, if it's the LT1 platform, well, LT1, I mean the LT1 that came on the cars made during the 90s, like the Camaro, Firebird, and Corvette. Uh, this has good information on tuning them. And uh, another DIY auto tune seems to have uh, what you need for Mega Squirt, 
and it has a uh, bunch of articles on converting uh, using the Mega Squirt with your L98 or LT1. So that's always an option. And now if you get in, uh, of course this will be, uh, if you go an aftermarket ECU, uh, one thing you have to consider is what you're going to need. Like for instance, you have the 700R4 slash 4L60 transmission. You're going to need to have uh, computer control of the torque converter lockup. And then if you want uh, to have uh, your AC disabled when you go wide open throttle, you're going to want to have that capability. Another really important capability is make sure this system has the ability to use a knock sensor because you don't want detonation and blowing up your motor. I prefer to use a knock sensor. I advise you use one too. Uh, now we'll get into probably the most expensive system if you go aftermarket and that would be the Holly. And this company here, the Racer's Edge Performance, they actually have it on seal right now according to their page. Uh, and uh, that's probably a more complete system. And what's good about this is you can contact them first tell them what you want to do and make sure it has all, everything you need and does all the capabilities that you want. So that's really important because uh, then you'll have all that product support too for converting the tune port to aftermarket and getting it to work with your system. These guys are probably going to know that better than, uh, certainly better than I do because I've never done a conversion with an aftermarket ECU and there's a lot involved with it. Like I said, there's, you know, you, it's not just plug and play. I am going to go in a plug and play uh, at the end of this video. Uh, I was going to go and do it first, but it wouldn't. The page wouldn't load, so I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully, it'll load uh, when I by the time I produce this video. Let's go to the other ones, and uh, here's one. If you wanted to convert your system to use an LS computer, it's this company. Like I said, these can get pretty pricey. All this stuff, so keep that in mind. Uh, that would be pretty involved. You're going to have to re replace your front timing cover so you can use a cam sensor and a uh, you're going to be able to need a cam sensor and a sensor on the uh, crankshaft so you got a lot of research to do before you do spend uh, do this and spend that money um, good news if you want a plug-and-play system there are systems like the hall tech which, but that's only for like 86 through 89. Uh, it says here, Camaro Firebird Corvettes. I don't know why that wouldn't work on the 85 and 84. You could probably do something to convert. I would contact these companies first. So like I said, make sure you contact these people before you uh, do any of this. And before I go any further, do not ask me for links to these web pages. I will have it in the description box. Check the description box first. If for some reason you can't get in the description box, you can always uh, leave a comment. So, uh, and I'll try and get it for you if I have the time. Okay, another one, of course, is the FiTech system. That's probably one of the cheaper systems. Like I said, make sure it has all, every, all the abilities that it, you need. Uh, AEM, AEM is another really good system, but I don't know if there's any packages out there like you have to buy this ECU then you have to buy the appropriate cable uh, har engine harness which is like another 440 bucks uh, the wideband any other components you might have to add on you might have to buy separately so I don't, I don't know if they have complete packages or not like I said check with them first uh, there's fast fuel air spark technologies uh, they have the uh, retrofit kit and they might have a kit that goes right for a uh, multi-point uh, or the multi-port that will work with your your car so always check with them first see what you're going to need uh, getting on and this is dynamic EBL or I should say dynamic EFI uh, it's also known as the EBL like here's the here's the home page right here and even though this is an older system I think the last software update I seen was something like uh, 2013 or something like that yeah 2013 you see it down here but even though it's an older system it's pretty much closest thing you're gonna get to uh, plug and play you will have to either send your unit in 
and have him upgrade the ECM by adding this adapter there is some soldering skills involved so if you're not don't feel confident soldering uh, send it in and have him do it if you have one of the uh, 70 uh, older uh, throttle body injectors like uh, 86 through 89 I believe it is they came with the 7730 ECM correct me if I'm wrong uh, you can just get the whole unit from them if you want and I don't know if these prices are current or not this is their web page as of today so I'm guessing they are and uh, definitely want to go to uh, third gen org and go to the forums tech boards and DIY prom and uh, usually you'll see a lot of stuff here like for the EBL and uh, this is probably your best resource for it and there's a gentleman by the name of R. Bob I believe his handle on third gen org is and uh, he is the owner of this company and when it comes to this system or OBD1 tuning he's probably one of the best sources of information out there uh, it's supposed to be a very good system one thing I like about this system is I can run directly off a of wideband which is nice I can data lock and run off it instead of the older uh, OBD1 uh, air fuel uh, narrowband which uh, isn't anywhere as accurate as a wideband or supposedly isn't so uh, I'm actually considering this system if I do I'll of course I'll do a video on it and let you know how it all works out uh, still waiting I e I did email him I'm waiting for a reply so uh, if I don't hear from him soon I'll just maybe try calling him or contacting him directly or something like that anyway everything out there keep in mind everything out there is uh, gonna have some type of learning curve whether you stick with the OBD1 uh, and if you're already doing OBD1 basically I'm just showing you where to get the components so you already know and if you decide to go aftermarket you definitely want to do a lot of research and consider all the advantages and disadvantage uh, when it comes to changing out your to say you decide to change out your ECU I think one of the uh, for just a mild street engine it's really not necessary you're probably better off just sticking with the OBD1 the only problem is uh, those components are becoming older and older and even though they're electronic like the ECU sometimes they feel and they need to be sent out and even though they can say replace a capacitor or something like that a lot of those chips in there are no longer available. There's other components in there that are over time breaking down along with your harness components and everything else. Yeah, you know, once they get 30 years old, uh, there's a lot of unknowns. Yeah, you just can't, you just can't uh, work out uh, on something like that. They're just not, it's not like a, an engine if uh, you have a worn piston you can or a bad valve or something like that you can narrow it down and replace it uh, electronics can be pretty daunting even for people that are experienced at it uh, so uh, it may come down that in the future if you want to keep using your older vehicle especially older tune ports you're gonna to have to update your system uh, don't go out and do it unless you're like I said, doing a lot of engine modifications. Most of those aftermarket systems you don't need unless you're doing like boost, uh, power adders, nitrous, you know, turbo, superchargers, anything like that, or uh, really getting radical with your uh, cam and head size and stuff like that. So uh, don't blow, don't waste your money on something like that if you don't think you absolutely need it. Uh, I like, you know, if you're like me and you like tinkering with stuff like that and you don't mind spending the money, that's another thing. That's something you got to decide. And uh, like I said, I hope all this information was helpful. Uh, all the links should be down that I showed you should be down in the description box. That's a lot of links, so uh, hopefully they'll be there. Uh, if for some reason you can't the description box, leave a comment and I'll try and leave it a link. Anyway, I want everybody to have a great day and God bless.